Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, May 18th, 2018 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is Earth without my art is eh. <laughs> and if you saw the write-up I did when the sun moved into Taurus, that was kind of the focus that I was given um, was seeing ourselves as art. You know, Taurus is co-ruled um, by Earth and Venus, but Venus energy really is about beauty and love and harmony um, and, you know, the beautiful things of the world. And we, we can see the beautiful things in flowers and trees, the earth things, and we can see the beauty in art, but often we forget to look at the beauty within ourselves, which really feeds into the whole worth part of Taurus energy. And so we have to remember we are these beautiful creations of art. No matter what you think of yourself, you are a beautiful creation of art. And so Earth, without your individual arty farty self, <laughs> it's eh. And we have to remember that. So uh, energy mantra. Astro-wise, I have some really interesting messages that came through, and I'm really excited to see if I can remember all of them and bring them forth. Um, number one that I want to mention, Venus is in the final day of being in Gemini. Now, this is always really interesting. Um, 29 degrees, master level degree. So it's really mastering the Venus vibration, that love, harmony, beauty vibration in the form of Gemini. Gemini, communication. Now what's interesting about Libra and Gemini, both air signs, um, Libra is, by the way, ruled by Venus, so that's where the Libra is coming from, <laughs> but uh, Venus, Venus and Gemini, both of them look for harmony in one way or another. Gemini loves to twin things. Gemini will twin something so much so that it's not even conscious of twinning it. Uh, I have Gemini rising <laughs> and oh my gosh, can I twin things? It's crazy. Um, but you have to be very aware with the Gemini vibration. Okay, I might be twinning, matching something, but is this authentic to me? Or am I doing it to find that harmony and creating, you know, out of balance, no harmony within the self? So we have to be very aware of that with Gemini. Gemini just wants people to get along and laugh and can do that to the sacrifice, to the detriment of themselves. Venus energy, that Libra energy of Venus can do the same thing. I want harmony and peace. So what I need doesn't matter. I'm going to put that aside. It's just going to be about what you need and then we'll have harmony even if I am all turbulent inside. So with this 29 degree energy, Watch what you're twinning and make sure it's authentic to you. Make sure it feels good to you. Make sure it feels good inside and out. And if it doesn't feel good inside and out, see what you need to do to shift. Because Earth needs your art. Earth does not need your imitation art. <laughs> it doesn't need that. Earth doesn't need you to be somebody else. No being somebody else. If you are a bamboo, be a bamboo. If you are an oak tree, be an oak tree. I love that I just saw this literally right beforehand. Right before I did this um, this scope, I saw on Facebook a quote from Ram Das. It's like, you know, when I see a tree, I can appreciate it. Whether it's bent, up straight, has flowers, you know, green leaves, red leaves, whatever, I appreciate it for what it is. Now when we see a person, immediately that goes right out the window and all of our judgments flood in. So now instead of seeing a person as a person, I see them as a tree. So I can accept them as they are. That's what we need to do to ourselves, which is funny <laughs> because uh, Joe, my twin, is always like, we just be trees. <laughs> it would just be easier to be a tree. So you are a tree. <laughs> what is your individual tree-like self? Embrace that with Venus at this 29 degree. Love it and then communicate from the beauty of your own tree-y self. All right, so there's the first thing that's coming up. Next thing that's coming up, oh my god, some interesting stuff. We have a grand trine in water. So moon in Cancer, uh, connecting to Neptune and Pisces, connecting, remembering where all the planets are, connecting to Jupiter in Scorpio. Moon, Neptune, and then Jupiter in Scorpio. Oh my God, this is like, this is like the Grand Prix. I don't know what it's like. It's major, major, major intuitive feeling energy that is coming forth in and through this connection. So just be very aware. 
have to set that so it stops going dark on me. Just be very aware of your intuition and what's going on with things around you. What are you feeling? Be very clear about what you're feeling. Now with this as well, you know, always good to notice, oh, this thing that I'm feeling, is it mine or is it resonating with me because there's a piece of it that's mine, but it may be somebody else's that I'm picking up. So be very aware of this in and through the energy. Be very aware of it, especially with the twinning that is going on. You may find yourself twinning somebody and taking on their stuff that doesn't need to be taken on. Um, <laughs> they may be sharing their energy. And you're like, oh, I can take that on and shift it for them. I, my mentor years ago, years and years ago used to tell me she's like you will just walk around and you will just be like oh that person can't process that let me take that on let me take that on let me take that on no <laughs> if we take it on we cheat people out of the uh, opportunity for them to process it themselves sometimes they need the reflection that we can offer and like hey i feel you you know this is what i experience with this maybe sometimes they need that but with permission um <laughs> but do not take it on yourself be very aware of that in and through this energy. Uh, oh my God. This moon is also connecting to Saturn and Mercury. We're going to have the moon, Saturn, and Mercury all connecting at 8 degrees. So Saturn and Mercury, they are trying. Saturn is in Capricorn, retrograde in Capricorn, 8 degrees, that responsibility degree. So the responsibility energy is coming on strong right now. Mercury is in Taurus at 8 degrees. Um... Oh, Mercury and Taurus at eight degrees. You are so responsible for your worth. Now, this is an interesting connection. Oh, this is such an interesting thing. This is an interesting connection because Saturn and Capricorn brings up that responsibility. And we've talked about this. Are you responsible for what the world wants you to be responsible for? Or are you going to be responsible to your soul? A lot of the stuff that's going on in my life right now is about, am I going to do what the world, my family, believes I should be doing? Or am I going to listen to my soul? Am I going to listen to my heart? I keep choosing my heart and they keep encouraging me to choose otherwise. <laughs> it's a very, very intense situation and yet I feel good in it and I feel grounded in it because I'm listening to my soul, because I'm listening to my heart. If you do not feel good with the choices that you're making, where are you not listening to yourself? And today is a really good day to shift that and take that responsibility on for you being yourself. You are not here to be somebody else. You are here to be your art. <laughs> Earth without your art is eh. <laughs> we need your individual tree-like self in this menagerie to really bring forth the beautiful colors of the world. Um, now the moon in that brings an interesting perspective because the moon in this, it's opposing Saturn. And so the moon in Cancer often will drive us to choose the comfort zone. But I feel like the moon in Cancer right now is like, oh, your feelings are going to be showing you where on the Geiger counter that you are with this and pushing you hopefully in the direction of honoring your soul. I have an interesting thing to bring up about the moon. Um, the moon is also sextiling uh, Mercury in, in Taurus. So that moon sextiling Taurus energy, that moon, your feelings, where are you feeling in alignment with your worth, your self-esteem? That's going to help you in and through all of this responsibility stuff. Um, you know, that grand trine, like I said, though, that's we're really, really going to be feeling that. And the last thing I want to bring up with that kind of has to do with this card, the journey, journey of love card. Um, the moon, the moon in Cancer and the sun in Taurus, you know, this brings to light uh, the relationship that we have between the moon and the earth. What is the relationship between the moon and the earth? You know, we always know the moon and the sun and how um, the moon reflects the light of the sun, which is so beautiful. But what is the moon doing with the earth? The moon is like illuminating in some of the darkest times, illuminating the earth. So the moon, our feelings, they can illuminate this worth stuff. They can illuminate where we are with this. Pay attention to the moon. Bring forth that energy of the moon today. Let it help, I don't know, shift you. There's so much shift going on. There's a lot of energetic stuff going on right now. Let that moon energy, let the power, the superpower of your feelings help shift you right now. You gotta be all in. Body, mind, spirit, soul, feelings, all in 
to help shift and dig into your consciousness. So lots of stuff going on. Let's finish with this card. This card is so good. Um, she is the moon. And I'm going to actually read this whole thing. The light of the moon ebbs and flows. The wisdom of patience is not about waiting around for something to happen rather than getting up and getting it done. The wisdom of patience is that of the gardener who consults the lunar calendar. The right timing, promoting growth, planting when there's fertile soil and allowing the soil to rest and replenish when it needs to. You are being asked to check in with your timing. Is now the time for action or for rest? It can change quickly, just like the phases of the moon. If you're unsure, that's okay too. Perhaps you're waiting for more light to reveal the way. As the moon grows full, all things come in time. Your message comes through this oracle. Your manifestation is unfolding in the perfect timing. If you do not feel, or if you feel something isn't happening fast enough or isn't happening quickly, and you are unsure if you're really ready, be assured all is well. If something is not clear to you and you would like it to be more so, the clarity you seek will come to you. Do not worry. Do not try to force the insight. Just be with what is happening now and trust. You are moving and growing and all is well. Soon you will see that for yourself, the moon grows full and revealing, even in the midst of the deepest night. And the poem here is so beautiful. It's called Waiting. These moments are precious, like jewels in the crown of life. They beckon my heart, forming memories that sparkle with joy. And like the longing of a sweet career, they draw me near, melting into one, showing what is possible on the journey of life, waiting for the season's change. That being said, I have some interesting things to announce. One, I am going to be teaching astrology classes. Hooray! This is going to be happening. I'm waiting for the timing exactly. <sighs> in the midst of all of the stuff that's going on to do that, but it is going to be happening. Um, I am going to be creating a group for it. I'm hoping sooner than later. I'm really excited. I wanted, I wanted to start in Aries time. I wanted to start in Taurus time. I wanted to start in Gemini time. <laughs> I'm waiting like the moon for the right timing. I'm waiting to get a little bit more settled in my life because I like to give my all to these projects. So that's one. Two, I have started a patron page. Um, I'm going to be doing things with Joe there about Twin Flame. I'm going to be doing astrology stuff. Uh, I don't know how much, how much I'm going to be offering on there or how much I'm going to be offering in here. I may shift a lot of my stuff to there. I'm not sure. A lot of the, um, not a lot of, but some of the not as nice comments that I got made me think, well, you know, like I really do want people who honor and know the worth in what I do because I do put a lot of myself into this and it does take quite a bit of time to do this every day. Um, so I may shift it to that. I'm not sure yet for now. For now, I'm good here. Um, but you may want to check that out because I'm going to be offering things and I really want to share more things twin because my journey has been really crazy and I know it has been so crazy so that I can help other people um, get into the space of their union. It's such an amazing and misunderstood <laughs> journey. Um, it's one that really needs to be experienced to be fully understood. And I feel like I have so much to offer that can help, you know, anybody who's open. And I think beyond everything, he and I both have our North Nodes in Leo, and he is a Leo and I am a Leo Moon. Like, we really came to bring the energy of love and to shift the world with love. And I really think um, I have a lot to share around that, but I need to do it in a forum that is honored. So that is going to be coming up as well. But it's there. The patron page is up. I did that with the new moon. I was like, let me just put this up. So it's up. It just hasn't been started, but it will be very soon. So you can go check that out. Um, my website is getting redone. It has been very slow and crazy. If you would like to book a reading, email me and I will send you an invoice, mimiclark at gmail.com. All of those are, you know, available, all of the readings, but you can always just email me. Um, me and Joe are in the process of getting back to everybody that emailed us over this time, <laughs> over the last how many weeks that the trip was. It was a very crazy journey where we had to flow and listen to the moon. Um, if I you bought a reading and I have not gotten back to you yet, please feel free to email me. I'm going through my emails and like, oh, this person, this person. If you are a regular client, message me. I am getting everything set up and I'm really excited to dig into my work because I do love what I do. So 
that being said, all the business, <laughs> there is enough love in the world for you. The better it gets, the better it gets. I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.